Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're playing some Rogue Trader and we're currently on our capital planet of Dargonis. And our capital has been attacked by Xena, so we need to take it back because it seems to be a, um... Uh, one of the places where the leaders are kind of like taking control, like apparently it's our their comm station. So if we can take that down, we can turn the tide. So that's going to be one of our major Keep goals your here. Wits about you. Okay, we also need to finish looting from after this last fight. There we go. The battlefield looks more like a bloodbath. The defenders of the palace were taken by surprise and literally slaughtered. Okay, some sergeant and warden who've taken some injuries. You guys good? Thank you, rogue trader. We will hold our positions. Can I heal them? I wonder if I should. I mean, they're probably going to continue helping us fight, so... May as well make them somewhat effective, you know? Yeah, we need to do something with this inventory. It's out of hand at the moment. Um, okay, grenades. Let's give you one of those. How's everybody else doing? Do we need to equip... Keep on taking off my my good friend. Where's my friend? He's supposed to be recording all of my exploits. Why do you keep taking him off, Owlcat? I'm pissed off. Stop doing this. How dare you? He should be with me at all times. everybody. <laughs> Let's not get them falling behind. That would be bad. <laughs> A trivial task. I always keep my options open. You alive, bro? The bloodied soldier lets out an incoherent moan clutching his mangled face. Awareness. As it should be. You lean over the soldier and you spot the armed mine hidden under his body. Lord Xenos. Oh, 60%. Back up, everybody. I yep. align my path Nearly with yet. yours. For That's now. That's brutal, dude. That's so rude. 60%, my let's go. My success was inevitable. Oh, okay. The warden mutters words of thanks and holds out an object for you to take. Okay, what do we get? Protector of the Faith. For Dogmatic. I always have a backup plan. Sixteen to twenty-three. I think it's two-handed, right? Yeah. Ancient Force Sword's doing more for you, so I don't think this is going to be for anybody. Unfortunately. Whenever the wielder hits a demon for the first time in combat, the demon becomes blinded for one round. That's kind of cool. But yeah, he, he needs a one-handed, plus his one-handed is doing more damage because it's uh, Psy-based. So... Alright. Is there money to be made? Okay, get our perception checks in. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. The steel is severely damaged, apparently by accident rather than deliberate vandalism. Keep your wits about you. Let us not dawdle. Stop! There! Ooh, that was a close one. 
Um, it's Zeno, so it's gonna have to be you, girl. Keep a sharp eye. I have learned much in my exile. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I, I think when I did Command sentence. A to select everybody, it canceled her doing that. That was dumb, though. I feel cheated. This wound will make a fine scar. I feel a little cheated. The Xenos has a habit of distracting the Lord Captain at every opportunity. Her conversations are taking up precious time. Uh-oh. Oh, it's Tazara again. When Tazara notices you, her face contorts into a mask of rage. The Drukari lips stretch into a predatory grin that bears no trace of her former hot, hot, hoftiness. I never know how to say that. I think it's hofty. Only the promise of pain. You malformed monkey putrid vermin, you will pay for every moment that I have spent on this pitiful planet. I wonder if she was like sent here as a punishment? This is it, the true face of the Dark Ones. Her anger at you is so great that she has shed her mask and revealed the beast beneath. Little Asuriani, the monkey's obedient servant, try to survive the future, and then the two of us will still have plenty of fun. The Drukari licks her lips with her fork to tongue. Is it true that the Drukari are followers of the, um, the one chaos god, the, the one that the Eldari really hate? Um... I forget the name, but is, is that, I don't know. There's still a bunch of lore that I don't understand about these people. Oh, come on. Aren't you glad to see me, Tazara? Oh, now that you have finally arrived, I am filled with anticipation. The anticipation of skinning you, impelling you on hooks, and making you dance for mine and the Archon's amusement. Tazara's shriek drops to a hiss. I suspected that you and that true-born curb were working together. He did not make me and my sisters linger here on a whim. Trueborn Kerr. He did not make me and my sisters linger here on a whim. Is that supposed to be um, the guy who betrayed us at the beginning of the game? He had a reason, and that reason involves you. Yes, is that it? Tell me, just nod so I can stand before the Archon and accuse him of treachery and compromising the raid. Squabbles between false allies is the favored sport of the Drukari. After torture, that is. Heinrich sounds pleased he is clearly enjoying the sight of the Xenos' rage. Wait, what cur are you talking about? Enough, Tazara bears her sharpened fangs. I will beat the truth out of your dead bodies. Yours and Mara's eyes. Oh! Wait a minute. That was that other guy that we met. Um... You and the Trueborn Kerb were working together. He did not make me and my sisters linger here on a whim. So he's in charge of all of you guys, and he sent you here. And you don't seem to like him that much. And you don't know why he, he sent you here to do this. All right, um, I don't know either. <laughs> Truly, I do not. Okay, you're gonna get to go first, so you can move up or back if you need to. Um, where are you in the turn order? Quite a bit up. A lot of people are going to get to go. Maybe I'll put you here. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. me if you insist lord captain be careful not to cross my gaze <sighs> let me educate you on the art of pain i am a navigator not a scout a word for a flesh crafter. OK. 
Okay, you're higher up in initiative. She is here. Goodness, that was some damage. Oh, who are these guys? They're enthralled martyrs? Stay up, girl. Stay up. Help me, Lord Captain. Okay, these guys are actually like super dangerous. Alright. Who if not me? I'll make it happen. Cool. Got the guy behind too. Okay, I want two for. Let's do a linchpin on you. job for the serfs. <clears throat> if I may. Okay, girl. You took a big hit. I think I am gonna try to use a med kit on you. Let's see if we can finish him off. Let's see if this would be enough. Yeah. That killed him, right? Oh, it did not kill him. Okay. Um, you won't get your AP, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, well, pretty sure I want that then. Guys, not melee range. Yeah, I think that's what we want right there. Even though we've got some people flanking us. Let's start here. You're gonna get an extra turn because you killed that guy. I think it's only two AP that you get from that though, but that's fine. You on the art of pain. Don't work for a flesh crafter. Rude. How did so many of those miss? All right, it's fine though. <laughs> it is what it is. It's gonna happen sometimes. Um, okay, so you get two AP. As the Emperor commands, I act. I will take <laughs> your heart out for this. I'll do it. Got a little bit more luck on that third shot there. <laughs> There's that at least. Okay, we probably want to get you off off of Cassia's ass. Oh, 
Dude literally disintegrated. <laughs> should feel honored turn. to witness this. <sighs> You've unleashed my fury. Try to die with grace at least. How is she so good? Oh, interesting. Would those work for me if I did that? I wonder if I want to. Um, I think we just... Let's see. Can I do... No, that'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? She is rolling so I'm well, too. I'm not accustomed too. to being ordered around. A work for a flesh crafter. This can't be over. Let's see. Do I pass on the rest of this turn to Argenta? I wish I, I wish I had three left, but I don't. Because I need to get her to move, too. So if I move you up there... Oh, yeah, you're free one because of, because of this! So you will get at least one burst off. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! Brilliant. Commands, I act. Can you see that guy? Almost guaranteed no, right? No. Um, let's see. Do we have any up here? No, we've just got this group over here. Oh yeah, and these guys back here. I saw two lines. Oh, this guy? Cabalite Heavy. He's way back there. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for him to come closer, I think. But, let's see. I am not let's your see what we can do against this guy. Monkey. Oh, this was an extra turn of some kind. I did not realize that. I need to be more careful about checking that. Um, but we can do that. Never mind, we can't do that, because our... Talent is broken. Your cause. That's upsetting. I'm, I'm still mad about that. Okay, so we have a talent that just simply doesn't work. Totally fine. I'm not angry. <laughs> if we take out a My Thrall Master, I wonder here. if the Thralls stop. Probably not, right? But maybe, Throw maybe we should try it. You. Dude, is this seriously the first time Abelard's had a turn? Yes, it is. Um. Do you have armor shredding stuff? I don't know if you do. Sworn enemy, maybe? My place is at the fall. Not really armor shredding, but gives you more survivability against that target. At your beck and call. Don't like the dodge. I will tear your heart out for this. It will be done. You've unleashed my fury. I mean, those hit chances are bad. Is there anything I can do to fix that? I mean, I've only got two more AP anyway, so... 
Let's just go for it. Let's try him. All right, he's landing him. Victory is imminent. Oh, he has three HP left. That's so rude. That's so rude. You can just stay there. Okay, you're hurting too. This is going to be more effective than your, your other heal, so I'm going to allow you to do that. And then you're going to help finish this guy, I suppose? Or should I have you go after him? Can you reach him is the question. No, you're just short. But it would still get you in range. For the throne's glory. Agony. What a pleasure. Okay. It does not unthrall the enthralled. <laughs> There's a chance of getting that kill. I think I'm going to take it. Okay, she keeps rolling her little thing that gives her more of these attacks, which is good in my book. Both of them died, good. Three enemies, I don't know where the third one is right now. I'll see to it personally. It's <laughs> one way to do it, man. That is one way to do it. That hammer is awesome. <laughs> Who is left? Oh, that guy up there. This is good as done. <laughs> we we ba we just rolled in that one. <laughs> we just rolled in that one. Take aim on your Liette. She's gonna finish this. Another level up? Oh dear. Okay. We've got another level up. I mean, it doesn't really matter, so. Bloodthirster. One handed. I mean, since she's got the pistol, if it's better than that, then... 16 to 24, 15 to 25, eh, just whichever one you like better. Each hit decreases the target's weapon skill, ballistic, strength, toughness, and perception. Cool, let's do it. If I click on, like, I wish that you could click on these and see what was in your inventory that would fill that slot. I don't... 
think we have anything that can fill that slot, but I'm not 100% on that. Let's go back to tight. Yeah. Okay, no gloves. We need to find some gloves that she can wear. Um, nope, those aren't amulets. Is that an amulet? It is. Fellowship com Commerce. Revel and Slaughter. That's not for you. I don't think you have anything that does any of those. So this isn't even useful, but... It is what it is. Always keep your eye on the price. Make sure we get our perception checks in. I like his staff of blood. Is there money to be made? I haven't done a hard save that wasn't a quick save in a while, so we're going to do that. Okay. Choose a characteristic. Fellowship is going to be good for you. This will get you a bonus. Probably coercion. Who else has carouse? Abelard has really high carouse. We'll allow him to be the highest carouse. Um, okay, for you. Your Liette is better at Xeno, so do we want to go a different direction for you? You're not really our best in anything right now. Um, we'll do Lore Imperium. Okay, toughness or agility? We'll do toughness. Arouse or athletics? We'll do athletics this time. Okay. Um, no, we don't want weapon skill. So agility. Yeah, I mean, she's good at agility already. Like, part of me wants to start working on toughness, but... 
I mean, she's built to be a dodge tank at the moment, and it's been working pretty well, honestly, so... I can't argue with, with how well she's been performing, so... He's done demolition already, so are you... I suppose... Medicaid, then. You're kind of our awareness person, but we've already done awareness, so... Lore Imperium? Perception, willpower. Perception to get you a bonus, but we can't give you that right now. So do we go fellowship, or do we try and give you... So agility affects dodge reduction and dodge chance. Perception also has an effect on dodge chance and you're better at that. I wonder how that calculation comes to be. I mean, her dodge is doing great at 128. If I did... Okay, it's probably got to be Fellowship, right? What does Intelligence do for you? Some of your lore stuff, tech use, so yeah, yeah. I think it's just going to be Fellowship. We could also do Toughness. Now let's do Fellowship. I'm gonna do intelligence just to get that bonus, which also gives us a whole bunch of bonuses and a bunch of these lures and stuff. That one just benefits a couple of different things. Including Medicaid, which she does use sometimes, so we'll just get that bonus there, and then we'll work on agility after that. Um, let's see. We wanted to work on logic for you, or tech use. So. We'll do logic this time. And there we go. Level up done. That one wasn't too bad. Sorry, what was that? I always <laughs> keep my options open. Is that a trap we didn't see? Okay, we must have missed some stuff, but that's fine. Because we can do that. Which I love. Look what they've done to my home. Surprised they left the servitor. <laughs> The servitor appears unharmed and completely indifferent to the carnage unfolding around it. Clearly. Keep your wits about you. Okay. Disrespect. <laughs> Silent fresh. The disrespect in my own damn study. Kicking Achilles Scalander. Oh, okay, well, Achilles is here. Alright, let's see if... What does he know, huh? 
Covered in Drakari blood and his own, Achilles Galander looks around with a haunted expression on his face. He finally manages to focus his gaze on you and lets out a barely audible gasp. God Emperor, preserve me. Could it be? Is it truly you, your lordship? He is struck by an excruciating coughing fit, his hand grasping for his respirator on its golden chain, but it is missing. The interrogator examines the room, the evidence of a struggle, and Achilles himself. You did well. You held your own. Glad we made it in time. Achilles frowns, presses his burnt lips together, and drops his gaze. And yet, and yet I still failed you. Okay. By the yawn of the darkest abyss, Achilles, why did my expert on Xenos fail to prevent the Drukari assault? Uh, I focused all my attention on investigating the attacks across your protectorate. I suspected that there was something bigger behind the Xenos attacks, but an assault on the rogue trader's capital? Foolhardy, even for Drukari. I'd never have thought. He closes his eyes, grimacing with guilt. Okay. And therein lies the reason for your failure, burnt monkey. Your mind was narrow, as the minds of your kind are wont to be. Achilles shoots your a hateful look and mutters through his teeth. I am aware. You notice a brief flash of sympathy in Yerliat's eyes. There is no wisdom in blaming yourself. A monkey's intellect is weak and can never fathom the depths of my dark kin's treachery and twistedness of thought. Had there been another monkey in your place, the paths of fate would have remained unchanged. Yerliat, never forget that I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, we don't know exactly what happened to Kruderak, but is it safe to assume that the Drukari probably had something to do with it? And so, like, I don't know. Don't be casting stones quite yet, you know? Let's, um, go Medicaid first. Inspect Achilles' wound. 65% is not great. We succeeded, though. Achilles' body is covered in an unthinkable number of cuts and injuries. The Drakari put great effort into filling his every moment with searing pain. However, none of his wounds is life-threatening. We've had a couple of moments where we've had to call into quest question... Achilles' capabilities here. And right now, none of them were life-threatening. They've gone through our entire capital and killed everybody in their path. Why wouldn't they kill him? Great effort to inflict searing pain. That could be a ruse to put us off of the scent that he has betrayed us in some way. None of his wounds is life-threatening. Does that seem improbable to anybody else? I'm starting to suspect Achilles has... maybe betrayed us. There's been lots of hints towards that direction. Heinrichs can heal him. May as well make sure he's at his best if he does betray us. Just to prove to him that we're better than him. <laughs> if we have to murder him. You feel a gust of cold that brings shivers to your skin. A moment passes, and Achilles takes another breath. This one much deeper and steadier. The smaller cuts close almost completely, but the deeper wounds continue to bleed. Hey, you shouldn't have Master Van Kallax. Your powers are wasted on me. Maybe a little bit of guilt there? Beyond just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to think about Achilles. What happened here? When the report came from Orbit about the Xenos attack, I was in the Administratum Halls, resolving the matter of your succession. I rushed to my shuttle and prayed to the God Emperor that I would reach the palace before they struck. But before I could get rid of all of the pics and documents I had gathered. The palace was besieged. I had to take a risk and burn it all. The Xenos surrounded me when I was setting fire to the last remaining orders and they decided to have fun with me. Achilles closes his eyes shut. Holy Emperor, deliver me from the memories. They tortured you? Why? Why? Achilles lets out a, a slight chuckle. Such is the nature of the enemies of humanity, your lordship. They have a taste for our pain. What did you tell them? He looks you in the eye, his gaze unexpectedly clear. Nothing. But they didn't ask me anything. They didn't look for anything. They didn't so much as poke around the place. Strange. It is the Drukari's favorite pastime to torture people for amusement. I doubt they had any inkling you were an agent of the Inquisition. Or it is that you do not remember anything, monkey, and it was their intent that you did not. Interesting comment there. 
we know what they can do to people's minds. Cassia reaches out a hand to Achilles' shoulder and gingerly removes something unseen from it. Your hues are covered in a layer of soot and ash, Master Scalander. I can see the loud, bleeding colors underneath. May I put them at ease for you? Achilles bows his head guiltily. It is a great honor to hear such words from Lady Arcelia herself, and still, I must refuse. Um, I almost want to insist. She might be able to find something more. My scars, both physical and spiritual, are my reminder of the mistake I made. And my keys, too. A coughing fit interrupts his words. Redemption. Were you able to glean anything from your attackers? His burnt lips twist into a bitter smile. Funnily enough, I was, your lordship. The Drukhari had no idea that a mere Adeptus Administratum Secretary could understand their alien speech. Over the course of my torture, I came to understand that the Xenos had been receiving help from humans all this time. Renegades, or pirates, or something of the sort. It will take time to identify these traitors to humanity, but I give you my word that they will pay for what happened on Dargonus. Okay. I will contact Clementia and have her summon a Medicaid. Get out of the palace while you can. I don't trust him, dude. I don't trust him. Burning his teeth, Achilles bows and withdraws to the great gatehouse in front of the palace. These bracers grant the wearer a plus five bonus to tech use and increase the damage from flame weapons by plus three. Speak, Elon Tark. Them? Probably not, right? Um, I guess with newest, they'll show up at the bottom. You can wear them. You can wear them. Okay, helps your tech use. We'll take it. Control panel is broken. The machine spirit has left this machine forever. Broken furniture, tattered fabric, bloodstained. Someone in this room put up a desperate defense against the Xenos. Among the numerous mutilations of the bodies, thin cuts are barely distinguishable. This is the work of a skilled torturer, not enraged fighters. All right. Let us not dawdle. Awareness test succeeded. We found an aristocrat in our bed? Is that what just happened? <laughs> what? Praise the Emperor, it's you. I thought it was those... those... Were you, like, hiding under the bed or something? Okay, you can't go in this back room. Take heed, rogue trader. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Okay. A trivial task. Xenos, they are inside already. We could not stop them. May the Emperor have mercy on our souls. Okay, I think we're about to have another fight. Let's go. I always have a backup plan. Oh, some more of those slithery boys. Oh, look at this smug bastard. Mar Marazai. I don't know how to say his name. Casually gestures with his hand, either welcoming you or inviting you to admire the brutalized hall. At last, I was beginning to think that your lumbering bucket had perished on the way back. Such a resolution would have satisfied neither you nor me, would it? The sight of Xenos lounging on the dynastic throne makes Avalard's face turn crimson. What? How did- You will cease defiling a relic of the Imperium with your present Xenos scum. What? This abomination? The Drukhari taps a finger on the armrest. With pleasure, but first I will finish my conversation with your master monkey. The Drakari freezes for a moment. Oh, I can feel your anger, your rage, and your pain from witnessing the state of your halls. I trusted that you would appreciate our efforts here. I could have long vanished in the tangles of the webway without awaiting your arrival, monkey. 
but I could not refuse myself the small pleasure of savoring your torment at the sight of what I have done to your home. You are still with him, cousin? Mirazai's voice is dripping with saccharine mockery. How fares your search for your lost family? Or is being at a monkey's beck and call occupying all your thoughts and time? You will be silent, Dark One, or I will silence you myself. You deceived me when you appointed the place of our final battle. Deceived? Equals can be deceived, but you I merely used. You played the part given to you perfectly. You were exactly where you were supposed to be, and did exactly what you were supposed to do. Everything except die, of course. Okay, let's attack him. You'll pay for every slain servant of the Imperium. I don't want to leave you all alone. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? God, I hate how smart it is. of the Reaving Tempest, I leave this monkey to you. Enjoy yourselves! Alright, he's taken off again, so we're not gonna fight him yet. But what are these guys? Beastmaster. Ooh, we are just a little bit surrounded right now. Um, I wonder if we should take care of our back first. Might actually be tough. Um, does anybody haven't moved? I thought I had an opening. Okay, you though. call this a strike? I am a navigator, not a servitor. Me? captain? Isn't this a job for the serves? Oh, it has something that keeps on negating damage. I could have killed probably both of them. I wonder if it's something that the Beastmasters are, are doing. Okay, that's right. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I must. This tedium is beneath me. Oh, come on. Okay, can I maybe see on here? Phase shift effect applied? Negates all incoming damage from every second successful attack. So the every other attack does zero damage. That's what's happening. Um, darn! I wish I had known that. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, I could have used the trail thing. yourself, Abelard. They 
really want Cassia. Well, we know that our next attack on this guy should be effective. I can probably kill him with this. Let's see if that's true. I'll see to it personally. Your end was inevitable. I don't know which one he's on. Okay, it doesn't really tell you, so... If I may, I'm a member. Here's my perfect moment. Trying to figure out who I might want to go up against here. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. See if we can shred these guys. As the Emperor commands, I am. <laughs> Doubt is for the weak. You Holy shit, okay, so these guys are <laughs> tanking hard. Faith without deeds is what your last stroke of luck. So the next attack on that thing will do nothing. Um, take aim. On it. Okay, we don't want to attack him with that. We want somebody who can do something lower damage against him because his next one will be a zero. So, can you get the kill on one of these guys? Probably not then, huh? Maybe him? Damn, even him, huh? Yeah, these guys are tough. Okay. Um, I've got to break armor on some of these guys, so let's, let's keep that in mind that these guys are clearly heavily armored. Yeah, 100% armor. No wonder we're barely touching them. Okay, so we need to work on shredding that. Crit. That's what I'm talking about.
Let's see to it. Naturally. Let me educate you on the art of pain. Let's see to it. Okay, that'll get rid of the zero there. This is free, so I won't object well. to it. Did you just take damage? Does that mean that you're back at zero again? Until the end of combat, Archmilder can make one additional attack each turn. Okay. for impact. Okay, interesting. Isn't this a job? Another third painted black. the back line. Do not dare ask. All right, who cares then? Um, okay. And another turn for you, it looks like. Oh, I think I might be hitting Abelard. Nope, missed him. Good.
shred some of that armor. Calls. And let's see if this is enough to kill you. Give you a little bit more AP. That's the stuff. I understand your intent. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. If it serves your cause. Holland Trail might have actually been more effective because it's a party help, kind of, but I think we'll be fine. It's as good as done. Okay, missed him. Good. I'll see to it personally. Five to forty one. Oh, just out of range, huh? Let's see to it. Naturally. Uh, I think I just misclicked. <laughs> yep, I sure did. Ouch. Damn it. All right. Nothing stands against me. For the throne. Holy terror smites Almost your enemies. Him. One they hit should certainly hurt. Doubt is for the weak. And there it is. Fun fight. Your Lordship, thanks to your breakthrough, we were able to clear out the estate. Right now, with the aid of your ship's augers from orbit, the surface troops are sweeping the streets of the hive. Squads have been sent deeper into the city, several units have been assigned. My apologies, of course, you will learn of all of this from the reports. Your appearance on Dargonus is a boon from the God Emperor. Who has brought us salvation? On behalf of all of Dargonus and House Versarian, I thank you for delivering us from our foes. Okay? I was doing my duty, nothing more. And by your will, you have preserved countless lives, your lordship. Dargonus owes you a debt that can never be repaid. We will continue the cleanup of the estate in the neighboring territories. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after effects of the fighting. The surviving forces will be enough to repel any sporadic enemy attacks, if any are launched. According to the latest reports, the Xenos are pulling out en masse. If other matters require your attention, I won't detain you any longer. Please allow us to ensure that Dargonus is returned to its former glory. Mistress Toleman has sent a message requesting an audience. She has a critical report to deliver, and will be waiting uh, for you on the ship's bridge. Okay. Ooh, what a fight. What a fight. This is where we're going to end this episode. In the next one, we will loot, and we will head back to our ship. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. 
I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.